Hi guys, this is Anash Sharma and in this session we will discuss the tax functions related and the related table. First of all, related function. What is the related function? Related function, it returns the related value from one table to another table. This is very similar to the VLOOKUP function in Excel. For using the related function, there is a condition. The condition is, there must be a relationship between the current table and the information related table. It means when we apply the related fun dex function on one table, so that table must have some kind of relation with the current table. It works on the one to many or sometimes it is called the many to one relationship. The related function it performs the lookup on the entire table regardless any kind of filter applied on that. Before using the related function, we must check the relationship which is required for the using the related function. So as you can see in the diagram, we have two tables that is the product table and the sales table. In product table, we have the two column product and the price and product are the unique. It means this table maintains the unique record for the product. Second table, sales table and the product it means the product co column is a common, so we have the relationship on the basis of the co common column that is the product. In sales table, we have the multiple entry for the product, so we have the duplicate product. So this kind of relationship is called the one to many. It means in the product table, we can have only one record, one unique record for the product, but in case of the sales table, we can have the multiple product in this sales table. Now, suppose in the sales table, I want to display the total sales item wise, say quantity sold multiply by price. So this relationship already there. So using the related function, I can retrieve the price from this table for sales table. Before doing the practical of the related function, we have data, we check the data. We have a table that is the product. In product, name of the product, unique product, and the header name is the item. Then price. In second table, sales summary table, the header is the product, and in that table, product is the name column name is the item. So both are the different. So there is a reason for that one. We'll check in the practical, then quantity sold and sold by. Now we upload the data. product sales summary load now we check the relation between the these two table if, if i check so i do not find any rel relation between these two table because there is no common column to create the relationship automatically by the power bi there is a condition that the column name must be the same and the data type also must be the same so here, the data type is the same, but the column name is different. So in that case, for using the related function, we require the relationship between the two tables. So we have to create the relationship manually. So right click, manage relationship. Then dialog box, new, and select table name product, sales summaries another section and choose the column name item and product so ok button is enabled then close now we can observe the relationship is created between those table it's a one to man suppose the both table have the common name common column say product product then what happens we check that one first of all we delete Then sales summary. We go to the Excel sheet. Now changes product. Now in both column, the name product is a common. Again we upload both file.
product sales summary so data uploaded now we check the relation so you can observe the relationship is created automatically by the power bi because the common name and the data type is the same for the product column now how to use the related function practically so we have the sales table and product quantity sold and sold by in this table we have to display the total sales it means the quantity sold and the multiply by the price and price is coming from the product table it means that is a related table okay new column first of all we will display the price only then product price related and product price so you can observe because of the relationship this table is available here without relationship you can't access this table product table price then enter now we have the price from the related product table now second again new column total sales sales summary quantity sold multiply by related then product price execute now we have the total sales so this way you can retrieve the data from the related column next is the related table the related function works on the relationship the similar way the related table works on the relationship the difference is the related table return the data in the form of table that's why it is also called the tabular function in fact or in other words we can say it return a sub table with matching key of the current row of the current table this is also a shortcut of the calculate table without any expression so syntax is related table then parameter is table how the related table function works we can check with this diagram in the left side we have a table that is the dim consumer and the consumer key it's a common column in both table that's a unique key in this table dim consumer and the right side table which is a sales table and we have the multiple consumer key so when you apply the related table function it will match first of all 1000 this one then again 1001 then we have the two current row for this one then 1002 the next one so this way it will match all the current row with the fact sales so this way it will match all the current row with the current key and we will return a sub table from this table now we check the practical use of the related table we have a table that is the dim customer first column is the consumer key then full name location and in this table along with this table we want to display the information the total sales for each and every consumer key say for 1000 1001 and all this information is stay in the other table that is the fact sales with the multiple consumer key now new column then total sales and there are so many ways for using the related table but right now i am using the sum x the first parameter in sum x is the table and the related table return the table so then fact sales second parameter of this sum x expression then fact sales sales amount this column has to be evaluated okay now enter 
so we can see the total sales for the 1000 this is the 2000 and 1001 this is the total sale 4500 and then uh, 2002 then 1003 and 1004 and so on so this is how you can use the related table function so guys this was all about the related and the related table function thanks for watching the video